Hey folks, uh, this lesson is comparing data displayed in dot plots. Okay, so we talked about dot plots in uh, module 10 so and, and how to construct those. So here we're, we're going to be given some dot plots and we're going to talk about um, uh, the data compared between those. So like the median and the spread and all that stuff. So how can we compare two sets of data displayed in dot plots? Okay, so we can use dot plots to analyze data. Um, especially when uh, with respect to its center and its spread. So the center means the median number. So let's first count up all these things so we can find the median. Okay, so here, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So the middle number is the 11th number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this is between 31 and 32, so 31.5. And the range goes from uh, 28 to 35. Okay, and so this is talking about the length from the nose to the thumb of students in a 7th grade class. Okay. All right, so here we go. So describe the shape of this dot plot. Are, are, uh, are the dots evenly distributed? or grouped on one side or the other. Okay, I didn't capitalize R, so sorry, that's going to uh, that's gonna drive me nuts. So I'm going to do that right now, and it's going to be small a uh, from now on, so I apologize. So um, anyway, so uh, are the dots evenly distributed? Yeah, it looks pretty even right here. I know there's a little bit more 31 inches, and there's um, uh, one that's only 28 inches, and this is from from their nose to their thumb, so I'm guessing that their hands are extended down by their side. Okay, so um, uh, okay, so here we go. So um, uh, the dots seem to be evenly spread out, with most of them in the middle right here. So most of them, here's most of those dots somewhere in the middle. Remember, the middle number is 31.5. So describe the center of the dot plot. What single dot would best represent that data? Well, it would. The center is that 31.5. So most of the dots occur around the 31. Okay, so here's most of the dots. Three of the uh, kiddos are at 31, but remember the center is at that 31.5, so uh, with equal dots on both sides is about 31.5. So describe the spread of the dots or any outliers. Okay, we'll talk numerically how to prove outliers in the later um, unit. Um, but not in this unit here, but outliers are numbers that are way, way out of the at ordinary right here. And, and there's really not any that are that are too little. I know 28, um, 28 inches is, is um, less than all the other ones, and 35 inches is greater than all the other ones, but it's not too far. Let's say if we had somebody way over here at, say, like 10 inches, or somebody, a real tall kid in the class was way up here at 50 you know, 50 or 60 inches right here. Those would be considered outliers, and there's nobody, uh, there's no, doesn't appear there's any outliers. So the data values start at 28 and end at 35, and most of the data is between uh, the 29.5 uh, and 34 inches, so nothing looks like an outlier right there. Okay, so so here, let's calculate the mean, median, and range of this data in this dot plot, okay? So it's the same data right here, so the same uh, length from the nose to the thumb. So remember, the mean is we're going to add up 28 plus 29 plus 29 plus 30 plus 30.5 plus 30.5. We'll go all the way up to plus 35, and then we'll divide that by how many numbers there are. So there's 21 numbers. So if we do that, and if I did that right, I get about the mean the average, okay, I tell my students it's mean to call you average. That's how I remember that mean equals average. Median is the middle number, so um, so the mean is about 31.6 inches right there, okay? So let's find the median, okay? So the median is the middle number, and we talked about that as 31.5. The range is from the biggest number, subtract the smallest number. So here it's uh, 35 inches minus 28, so the range is seven inches right there okay so we can compare dot plots visually by uh, using various characteristics such as the center which is the median the spread which is the big number minus the small number and the shape okay so here's two dot plots these dot plots show the heights of 15 high school basketball players and 15 high school softball players okay so if there's 15 the middle number is the eighth number let's go ahead and do that real quick so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. I don't. It's one of these eights right here. Okay, so the median is at 54. Here, the median is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so the median is at five foot eight inches. Okay, and typically basketball players are the tall kids in the school. So softball players are not the tall kids in the school. They're the average kids in the school. Okay. Um, so let's uh, uh, compare the shapes of these dot plots. Okay, so softball, all the data is five foot six or less. Can you see that? So here's five foot six, and everybody is less than that. And then, um, uh, and then uh, here the basketball players, most of the data is five foot eight or greater. So they're kind of backwards. Can you see that? They're taller on this side, and they're shorter than five foot six. We don't even have a player that's five foot eight over here. Okay, we have a couple of players that um, uh, over here, you know, that are on the basketball team. They're probably very good shooters or dribblers or passers, all that stuff. And then here's the, you know, the, the, here's the centers, you know, the guys that block everything down, <laughs> the tall kiddos. Okay, so compare the centers of the dot plots. Okay, so softball, the de uh, uh, the center is at five foot four, and the basketball, the center is at five foot eight. Remember, center is the median so that means that most of the common heights for the softball players is going to be about four inches less than the basketball players well that makes sense let's slide that up to get uh, uh, the okay, so now let's compare the spreads of the dot plots okay so the softball players the spread is from four foot eleven all the way up to five foot six okay so here's the spread so here's five foot zero so if this is five two this must be five one so this must be four eleven Okay, so this goes from 5'2 all the way up to 6'0. Okay, so what is the spread from 4'11 all the way up to 5'6? That's 7 inches. And the spread from 5'2 to 6'0, that's, what's that, 10 inches? Okay, because a whole foot is, is, um, is uh, 12 inches. So the, uh, there's a greater spread in the heights of the basketball players right there. All right, so, okay, so uh, let's compare the dot plots of the heights of uh, hockey players to the dot plots of our softball players and basketball players, okay? So so here's all, okay, here's our, our hockey players. Our hockey players go from, um, uh, see here it says hockey players right here. So it goes from uh, 4 foot 11 up to 5 foot 6. And same with the softball players, it goes from 4 foot 11 to 5 foot 6, but not the basketball players. They start at 5 2 and go up to 6 feet. Okay, so let's, let's answer these questions here. So the shapes, you guys. So the dot plots for the players of the softball and, uh, and, uh, the, and for the, the field hockey players, uh, they're, they're similar, you guys. And so the centers, the center of the field hockey dot plots is less than the center for the softball. So let's find the center, okay? So uh, remember, the center is, uh, I forgot what it was, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's the eighth one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here's the center for the softball players, and there's 15 here also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So here's the center for these guys, okay? So the center of the field hockey players is going to be, uh, five two, and the center for the softball is five foot four, and the center for these guys, I think it was five foot eight, so they're both less than the basketball players right there. Okay, so the spread, the dot plot players for the uh, field hockey and the softball are similar. It goes from um, uh, four foot eleven to five foot six, but uh, they're both way less than the basketball players. It goes from five foot two to six foot zero. All right, so we can also compare the shape, center, and spread of two dot plots numerically by calculating the values of the related, uh, the values related to the center and the spread. So remember that outliers can affect the calculations. Okay, so here we go, you guys. So so numerically uh, compare the dot plots of the number of hours of classes, the number of hours a class of students exercise each week to the number of hours that those same students play video games each, each week. Look at these two dot plots, you guys. Okay, here's exercise. You know, here's uh, one student that doesn't exercise at all, and then one student that exercises one hour a week, and then two hours a week, and three hours a week, nobody for four, and, and so on. Look how they're almost opposite of each other playing video games. Here's zero. Here's six hours is the next guy, and so this is per week, and one kiddo 
uh, does 14 hours per week. And I would imagine there's some other ones that do more than that, okay? And I imagine there's some other kids that exercise more than this, okay? So there's always exceptions, okay? Now, outliers are ones that are way out uh, from the normal, like this person right here, okay? Doesn't uh, do play any video games, well... Um, so anyways, that would be the, considered an outlier. All right, so uh, so compare the shapes of those uh, dot plots. So the dot plots appear almost opposite of each other. The dot plot shows that most students exercise less than four hours a week, okay? So here's four hours a week, and most of the kids are less than that right here. Uh, but they play video games more than six hours a week. Look at everybody's above the six hours a week right there, okay? So compare the centers of the dot plots and find their medians, okay? All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So the median is the 7th and 8th number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's between 2 and 3. So the median here is 2.5. And same kiddo, so there's still 15 kids. So we're going to go 7 and 8. So here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the median of this guy is 9 right here. So compare their centers okay so so we have um, uh, the median number of hours the students exercise is two and a half hours which is uh, uh, the median of the people that play video games is nine hours a week so it's six and a half hours less than uh, the people that play video games right there so how about the spreads okay so the dot plots uh, show the range to be similar to one another the, the range is the small number minus the big number so this one goes from 0 to 12 this one goes from 0 to 14 okay so the range of this one is 12 the range of this one is 14 right here okay so so that's how we can compare that so how do outliers affect the results of this data right here okay so totally this one's an outlier right here well the outlier would really shorten the range it wouldn't affect the median that much because the median would be the middle of these numbers so it wouldn't make the middle of these numbers m much different but it would sure uh, affect the range and it would also affect the mean okay so I don't think I put mean in there but so the outliers have little effect on the medians the middle number but they greatly increase the, the range and or increase and decrease it could be decrease also in this case uh, the mean on that okay so calculate the median and the range of the data in the dot plot and then compare the results of the dot plots in ex example two okay so here's example two right here and we found the median to be 2.5 and the and the range to be 12 so here the median is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so the mean or the middle number would be the uh, the uh, seventh and eighth number one two three four five six seven eight so the median here is in this six right here and the range goes from one all the way up to eleven so the range is ten okay so the median for the internet hours is six which is greater than the median for the uh, exercise and the range for the internet hours is ten which is less than the range for the exercise hours. Okay, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care.